Okay, this is a, a first video interview with Skipper Matty Farrell. Obviously, we did one in print a couple of weeks ago. It was a very different situation then. We were struggling, things weren't looking great. Tonight, probably one of our best performances for a long while against a very good Eastbourne Town side. Admittedly, they went down to 10 men early on. But what were your overall thoughts on the game, mate? Um, as you say, it was much, much better tonight. Um, it was just 11 players working hard for each other, on and off the ball. We were fighting for everything, every 50-50 we challenged for. And we won a fair few of them as well. And it was just a million, million percent better than what we've been producing so far. Yeah, um, I mean, I think for me, when you looked at tonight's game, the fact that they were scoring goals for fun and we were conceding goals for fun was always a slight concern. But we seemed to, we were tightened up tonight. Um, defensively, I think Hastings won every header. Yeah. Two fullbacks did very well. Bog swept round. So that obviously gave you boys in the middle of the park a little bit of confidence. It did, yeah. Um, you know, Hastings and Bogs and Tants and produced performances that we've seen them produce, you know, for years here now. And then Louis stepped in at right back and was very solid again tonight as well. So it was just, it was a foundation to build on. and. We knew before the game that they were going to be comfortable on the ball and tracking runners in midfield and getting our tackles in. And that was everything we needed to do tonight to be able to you know, get on top of the game and, and get us going forward. Yeah, I think you're right. When you looked at their, their side, even when they went down to 10 men, they looked very comfortable. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it changed them much, to be honest. They all, they all seem to understand what they're doing, understand their jobs. They all seem to be very aware of how they want to play. And as you say, they're all very comfortable on the ball. Very good players. We, I mean, we can be very proud of, of winning that game 3 0 with or without the extra man. Yeah, I'd agree. I mean, as I say, when they were with 10 men, they still kept the ball, they still made us work hard. So we had to dig deep, yeah. um, which is not something that we've done a lot this season, really. Um, so maybe now we are starting to turn the corner and the, the real SCR is coming out. Yeah, I, f I felt that. The extra man in, in midfield made a big difference tonight. Obviously, attack-minded players are always going to think to attack first. And, you know, we've played the 4-4-2 recently, which does leave us a bit open through midfield with the wingers high, centre-forwards high. And we just, we, we dug in tonight, really worked hard and, and close bases down. And the, as I said, it made a good foundation for us to break and attack on. Yeah. Um, and when you look going forward, the goals we scored tonight, Aidan took his chance very well. Yeah. Liam's goal, I think, was an absolute worldie. Yeah. Um, I don't think you're going to see many better hits than that this season. And obviously your one, snuck in at the, uh, the far post. Get your head to the ball again, as you've done so often over the past few seasons. Yeah, Must just, have been pleased. Yeah, the, the goals were very well taken. Aidan had a very similar chance at Reigns Park a couple of weeks ago. Um, so it was nice. Uh, he deserves a goal, you know, for his work rate. And what he, the shift that he puts in that goes unnoticed, he deserves a goal for his all-round performance. We've seen Liam hit shots like that many, many times. And, you know, I just gambled off of Hastings winning the first header and but thankfully it dropped to me. Well, that's a big, the big thing really, isn't it? On those set plays, Craig 90% of the time will win the header at the back stick. Yeah. And it's just whoever gambles gets there. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously I know Craig well enough to know that I should be making that runoff of him to be able to get in the right area and, and see where it produces. Cool. Uh, Monday, we've got Bansted down here. Yep. I mean, they were obviously bottom of the table, but they're going to be scrapping. They're going to be looking to pick up their first points. Yep. It's going to be a, a tough game. Yeah. Um, we're obviously scrapping for points as well, to be fair. We need to we need to get a job done on Monday and start kicking on in the league. We've, well, we've done well to win our two FA Cup ties, but the league is bread and butter, and that's where we need to start producing now. Okay. Thank you very much, mate. Cheers, mate.